So I don't know what the fuck just happened, but somehow my fucking phone fucked a bunch of shit up. But yeah, no, I uh, I was using this to take the uh, the gravity reading and my uh, graduated cylinder. I'll just do it like this. I took a gravity and it was like practically nothing after we put all that, you know, fruit and shit in there. So yeah, we're just going to turn this guy into hooch instead of just regular wine. So yeah, I've got a bunch of sugar in here with that raspberry gunk. And we're going to get it all nice and mixed up. I mean, it still looks cool. I wanted it to be more like a wine instead of like putting sugar in there. What the hell is going on back there? Either way, I'm going to get this all mixed in. I use sugar in the raw because it's like a nice, real sugar. And it's kind of got like some maple shit in the background. It's my wife. Get this all nice and mixed up. I mean, it smells good, but now that it's not, you know, just fruit juice and shit, it's, it's not wine anymore once you put sugar in. It's like hooch at that point. And there was a video that I wanted to do a couple days ago, but I ended up getting really drunk when I, when I did the video. But uh, you know, hopefully this one won't fuck up and then I can actually show you what the gravity is this time. Sanitized metal turkey baster. Buy it online. It never goes bad. So we're exactly at 1.050. So if that ferments completely out, it will be about 8.1. If it goes lower than that, maybe 9. But yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. That, that seems perfectly fine with me. So yeah. Just gonna dump this guy right back in. And then I'm using my favorite yeast, the K1 V1116. It's just a really good easy yeast bring our bucket down well actually no we're gonna keep our bucket up bring it over here so we can rack it into our gallon jugs all right let me pause that and we'll come back with the other part so i know it sucked this kind of turned into a hooch but eh, what do you got still gonna be wine in the end well not really but it's still gonna be drinkable in the end It still looks really cool, like the color. So, got another one of these guys. Dump out some excess water. Sanitize it. I did sanitize that one already. We'll be back with the spitch and everything like that. So yeah, either way, it didn't come out the way I wanted it to be. It still looks really cool. It looks like two huge things of jam. Like a raspberry jam or something like that. But either way, like I said, we're going to be pitching the, uh, the K1 V116. And I already got some open right here. But since we're going to be splitting this pouch of yeast, these one package usually call for... Uh, Five grams, but I don't really care. I'm gonna be doing two and a half in each. Two fifty five, good enough. But uh either way, yeah. I'm not really gonna hydrate this. I'm just gonna dump it straight in. Our guy. Trying to make a mess. Ooh. And since we know we have the exactly amount, same amount in this other packet, gonna dump that in. 
And we've got our, see I cleaned both of these earlier. Where'd the other one go? There it is. But I almost forgot. Put that on there. Put that guy on there. Oh yeah, I lost the cap to one of these, but all this is just like a diffuser, just in case it bubbles too much, it won't like spray all over the place. But what I am going to do real quick is give these guys a little bit of a shake, get it all nice and mixed in there. Since these guys ended up turning out to be more of hooches than actual raspberry one, I'm not going to be using any kind of Go Farm or Fermado because it's kind of expensive. So, and I didn't even want this to be a two-part video until my phone somehow took a shit when I was doing this. But yeah, if you guys ever have any like leftover like bagged fruit in the freezer or fridge, even jam, you know, you can even. Just take whatever you got laying around, just dump some yeast in it and some water, and boom. Hooch, swine, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, see you later.